when you spend your time fighting human trafficking, you're looking at some of the ugliest behavior that human beings have to offer. The average age of entry into prostitution is 12 or 13 years old. And so this notion that women choose prostitution, that women choose to be sexually exploited to sell their bodies, is actually a myth that we work to expose as a myth. Because prostitution is actually a function of lack of choice. And that if women have real choices, if girls have real choices, do you really think they would choose to sell the most intimate part of themselves to any stranger that shows up? The vast majority of human trafficking is for the purposes of commercial sexual exploitation, but labor trafficking is also happening at an astounding rate. And that could include labor trafficking for the purposes of exploitation in agriculture. It could include labor trafficking for the purposes of exploiting a human being to be a domestic laborer. For instance, many women who are trafficked for labor exploitation to work in someone's home as a servant and is being used like a slave will often be sexually abused by the male members of the household. When you look at labor trafficking that takes place in agricultural settings, you will begin to see a corresponding sex trafficking that is happening to make available the bodies of women and girls for the male laborers that are being forced to labor. And you begin to look, of course, at the commercial sex industry and the pornographers, how they have taken their view of human sexuality and mass marketed it. And now we have an ever-growing increase of boys and men who think that they are not having sex until they are dominating a girl or a woman or another human being. The domination of men over women that has led to a major shift of inequality being a model for all of the injustices we have in the world. One of the major things that needs to be done to end human trafficking, specifically sex trafficking we're talking about now, is for men to understand that it is the demand for girls and women's bodies for prostitution purposes that is fueling sex trafficking. So they need to play a leadership role in ending that. They need in a way, and this is no small measure to say, they need in a way to take back their sexuality from the pornographers. So when you hear the survivors speak about what it has been like for them, specifically let's talk about sex trafficking, and you begin to understand that the devastation that results from this form of abuse is total and anyone who survives it is, it's nothing short of a miracle. And so those of us who work to end human trafficking are doing it because we know that you want to prevent this. You just don't want this happening at all, ever, to anyone, anywhere in the world. Thank you.